Hi folks. I wanted to construct a great low band DX antenna. I have already experience with the program Phonic 2. But sometimes you get some warnings and the usage is not so convenient. I have seen a YouTube video produced by Callum M0MCX Mr. DX Commander. He was using the German program MMANA GAL Basic for his antenna simulations. Back. So in the last video we did this uh, business where we looked at parasitic vertical, okay, where we took two two verticals, one slightly taller than the other, and a particular spacing. We know the important part in simulations is that it is mostly similar to the location where you install the antenna. For example, the ground is very important for the radiation pattern of the antenna. And now we come to the point where these two programs create completely different graphs. I have checked the ground parameters, but I haven't found any difference. We do not speak about horizontal antennas in height of 10 meters or theoretical antennas simulations in free space. We speak about vertical antennas and the correct simulation of the ground. Because the antenna diagrams of a horizontal four element Yagi were very similar, that was okay. So here you see the radiation pattern uh, of a four element Yagi, horizontal four element Yagi, in MN Gal Basic, and here you see it in Fornic 2. So there is no big difference, it really looks similar. Now what is wrong? Where is the mistake? Look on my table. I have written down the values for some antennas uh, which I have simulated in Fornic 2 and in MMANA GAL. But what is right now? So help me in the comments. One big issue uh, I was getting with MMANA was the moment where I have simulated a phased array of two vertical antennas, which I wanted to install like a sloper. And then I have changed the height between 0 and 0 0.5 meters. Always the antenna which was higher was not so good like the antenna on the ground. And that can't be right. Moreover, with these sloper faced array I was getting really strange values. So I had a gain which I can't really believe. Look on the screen. So keep these results in mind if you use MMANA. Maybe it was my mistake in using the program, but I could not found any mistake in the handling or the numbers. So if you look now on the YouTube videos of Callum, where he tries to simulate a phased array for 40 meters, I would say sorry, but do not trust these numbers. Moreover, I have checked the degrees of the facing line and from my calculations, the Christman minus 71 degrees are not the optimum of gain or front to back ratio. In NEC 4 or 4 NEC 2, uh, I calculated the optimum facing shift and it was 120 degrees and not minus 71 degrees. Moreover, I was very surprised and I was wondering why the ground plane antennas are used instead of better and fat slopers, which have more gain. So I have calculated a phased array with really cool slopers. But that is something which I want to present you in my next video. So thanks for your attention and 73 